Emotions are running high in parts of Cleveland because of yesterday's acquittal in the case of Officer Michael Brillo. Brillo and other officers fired more than 137 shots at a car after a high-speed chase, killing two suspects. The judge decided Brillo had reason to believe he was in danger. HLN legal analyst Joey Jackson joins us now from New York with more on that. Good morning to you, Joey. It was good to have you. Good morning, Lynn. My you know, pleasure. We were watching this verdict yesterday morning. It was about an hour long, the reading of this verdict. The judge essentially going through the evidence piecemeal. What was your biggest takeaway of how he came to this decision? Well, you know, interestingly enough, Lynn, what you learn in the law business is that there are a lot of gray areas. And understand that in this particular case, the judge was acting as the finder of fact. It was a bench trial. And so instead of a jury that would be reaching this conclusion, it was a judge who was making factual determinations and in the role of a judge. And judge usually conclude on issues of law. And so what happens is, is that a different judge could lead to a different result. A jury trial could lead to a different result. And this particular judge found in three parts, really. The first part being on the issue of manslaughter, that Brillo's shot was a fatal cause, but not the fatal cause and not the straw that broke the camel's back. And as a result of that said, not guilty. You haven't proven it beyond a reasonable doubt. In doing that, Lynn, understand that he rejected what was expert testimony by the prosecution that suggested otherwise. And so perhaps a different judge would not have rejected that testimony. Perhaps a jury would not have rejected that testimony. The judge then, of course, went on and then got to the issue of what's called a lesser included offense, which was the felonious assault. Did Brillo intend to cause serious injury? And the judge said, indeed, he did. And I find that he did beyond a reasonable doubt. However, and this is the last part of the decision, I also find that he was justified. And so, yes, he did intend to cause a harmful harm to the actual occupants who thus died, but he found that he was justified because he was in imminent fear or perceived himself to be in imminent fear for his life and responded accordingly. And so this is what the judge concluded based upon the facts and circumstances of this case, Lane. So then you ask, what's next? Because you, you pointed out exactly that they don't know whether or not the fatal shot came from Michael Brillo. There were other officers there. They were also shooting. So can anything come of, of those officers' actions? Well, what happens is, moving forward, the prosecution makes a decision of who's going to be prosecuted and who's not going to be. And I think they particularly focused in on Brillo based upon his conduct, and that being, of course, almost 140 shots, about 49 coming from his firearm, that is Brillo, in addition to jumping on top of the hood of the car that we see there and firing into it multiple times. And, of course, we know that, you know, they were both shot 23, 24 times, respectively. In terms of the other officers, what what we know, based upon the prosecutor holding a press conference yesterday, is that there are five other indictments. Those indictments don't relate to the shooting itself, but they relate to other supervisors who allowed the actual chase, which led to the shooting. And so they, of course, have been indicted, in, indicted for dereliction of duty. And so that's to come. And we also know that so none of the other shooters that we know of at this point uh, are being uh, in, indicted. But we do know that there will be discipline meted out. We also know that, Lynn, from a a press conference that the mayor and the police chief had, there'll be various discipline that's meted out as to those offices. Apparently, there were 72 suspensions in this particular case, uh, anywhere from one day to 30 days. And so the fallout still continues. And the final piece of it is we know that Brillo is under a civil rights uh, investigation at this point now by the federal government. And so a lot more to be determined. Here. A lot more to come as well. Joey Jackson for us from New York. Joey, thanks so much. A pleasure. Have a great weekend, Lynn. You Thank too. you.